Hello there, YouTube. This is Sibbles and Bits back at it again. Today we are playing another Inkbound Daily. Today is the daily for December 9th. And I kind of skipped past like where we were going because I was in a rush to get into here before 9 o'clock my time because that is when the daily slip over. So we'll still be able to submit a score for this daily and probably just do today's immediately after get caught up and all that so we are playing chain breaker going up against argoloth chain breaker with broken will last time actually went quite well we just need to find ways to get more will or reduce costs which is theoretically getting more will because we have as much omni damage as you need to complete a t20 game uh, getting some more multipliers would obviously be appreciated. Getting augments to also, which are also theoretically a multiplier when you're increasing the base damage of the skill. All pretty good. Um, seeing double, I hate it. It means that we're probably not going to get sets as easily, so we're not going to be able to get multipliers. Again, if we end up getting like an early up tier that's pretty good for us, then obviously it's good at that point. Otherwise, I think that this should be yellow ringed for like a a moderate, if not like red, because it's very hard to make sets. Because you have to carry everything to after the boss, then grind it all, and then you start seeing benefit. You kind of need your sets before the first boss in most cases. And then we have a new mod that I haven't seen here before called Vestige Shuffle. At the end of combat, the Vestige in your first slot is shuffled with a random one of the same rarity. Um, Spicy. This really hits us after the first fight. So we need to grab something that we're not too attached to, but still something that's going to help us like clear the first fight in a turn. And then just hope that it rolls into something good. As uh, I'm guessing since this is random, this is going to be different for whomever, like even if you and I put this in the same slot, the same thing in the same slot, we're probably going to get a different outcome. Which means that um, our victory board at the end, or not our victory board, our uh, leaderboard at the end is just going to be absolute madness. Because there's no way to know. The good thing is, is that if we do get up offered, like, say, a crazy up-tier legendary, we don't necessarily have to duplicate. We can just put it in our first slot and keep re-rolling legendaries until we get one that we that work for us. Um, chances of that happening, though, is quite small because I'd say, like, 80% of the legendaries are just win the game, and the other 20% are, like, bad because they got nuked from orbit for winning games very odd but um yeah this one is definitely going to throw me for a loop as well as not having sets especially on chain breaker which loves having sets we have emblem of enterprise that's a lot of money going up against proving grounds okay so that's Giannis. All of the dummies now gather round before they attack. So if we can phase and then go up against an edge, then we could probably just delete everything with eruption, assuming that we have combo at the time. That's kind of the big kicker there. But uh, last time we found out that apparently um, spending three will for 400 damage is pretty good in the early game when you don't have any other means of AoE. Well, we start out physical here. We got physical and physical there. I guess we're going to grab a Powder Monkey stockpile. Again, I'm not going to grab something that I'm... Like, it's going to change into something else. So I'm not going to get too crazy there. Um, going crit is interesting, but again, it's going to be pretty hard to uh, get crit. Maybe we just grab this right here simply because it increases our physical strike by 40. And then, of course, that's going to get multiplied by these here. We're going to see the most use out of it, is basically what I'm saying. We also get a little bit of crit on it, which is nice. 
Um, I think Tarnish Vault times two is probably what we're after here. Again, we still do need sets. We still do need effects. And um, if we have something that we want, then we can put something that we don't want in that slot. And chances are is of three random white vestiges, one of them is not going to be too exciting for us. But you guys are just toast. Are you guys close enough? I'm just gonna grab it. There we go. Really not a fan of Quicken. Are we gonna do poison again on this? really prefer not. I think I might honestly re-roll this. Sick the game telling me that I gotta play poison on this character. Cleave. Eh. Cleave might still be the best option. Hits a smaller area than Eruption, but it's cheaper. We don't lose our bleed this time. I'll go for Cleave. Now. We are willing to pick up something that we don't care about. Bramble Dolos seem interesting because we do have access to bleed right now. We're probably willing to grind it. And we could just put a Voice of Fortunes in here because that's going to eventually disappear. I'm willing to keep this Burn the Gauntlets. So give me that. Drop that on the floor. Be a Voice of Fortunes. Um... Give me a sea breach here. I was debating the og, but um, Cleave doesn't really have great green ogs. Just straight crit chance. Well, this definitely feels like the best option because, again, these are going to add into our omni damage, and we're not really going to see much of this. Granted, this is significantly less overall damage, but if we can start getting some crit, that's a good multiplier to have. Oh, that was just completely unnecessary. I don't know why I thought that I had to did that. I had to do that. Maybe I wasn't calculating that I had bonus damage. Kinda. I don't know. That was not a very good use of our uh, flask, especially now that we've got this sitting here. Okay. Well, let's try and fix our mistakes. I need to hit you. To remove your business. Really? Did 
Yeah, we're going to take a turn because of uh, how we used that. That's um, unfortunate. And we're honestly going to miss this by those five bleed stacks that didn't get put on this guy. Rub stuff. Yeah, that's really quite upsetting. We shouldn't have lost those. Interesting. Uh, T-Bolt's good for single target. We could eventually get, um... What is it? Uh, whatever the payout fist is. Turn that into AoE. I don't think that we really need AoE anymore. I think we need single target. Oh look, Powder Monkey came back. I'm willing to take a Moss Spyglass. These are terrible. I think I'm willing to re-roll this. Now we're going to duplicate whatever we put in here. But... We can also make sure that we are getting our sets. So I think maybe duplicating the Moss Spy Glass is the key here just to get Precision 2 and then we grind it after this. Otherwise, like, Eviscerator is good when it gets to 3. But, eh, I don't know. Like, our bleed damage does do some significant damage, so maybe, like, sticking close to Giannis to make sure that he gets all the bleed, stacking on him with multiple Bramble Dolos. It is a single target strategy, and then, of course, we jinx after we eliminate all of his friends, probably with an eruption, depending on where they're situated. Um... Just feel like getting more crits is gonna help us out. A vengeful infusion. That definitely makes up for our blunder earlier. Duplicate this, please. Also, having two mark is kinda nice. Although, I don't think that's actually gonna go anywhere significant. Um, uncommon augment versus a glyph globe. Let's fix the fact that we rerolled earlier. Let's get some more physical damage for the next fight. It really doesn't matter. Like, it might give us a break point, but I'm not really concerned. Put the pot the furthest? No. Of course you wouldn't make it that easy. There's got to be a way. Well, I guess I'm good with this, then. And if we're not going to do all that, as we'll not use all of our movement, or better yet. Bop you. You turned around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely, but you never come around. Okay. Okay.
Perfect. Just give me a power orb. That's actually not perfect. You will be burned. You will be burned for three. And our current burn stacks would be dealing 20. So you'd be remaining with 60 HP. That's still not enough. How about this then? That do it for you? Crack Shackles isn't too bad. Not sure I want to reroll here, so I'm willing to just do that. Do I want to duplicate anything here, potentially? Let's see what we have at the shop. The shop could definitely change our minds here. Acknowledgement of Exemption. really doesn't help us. We could certainly grab the future willers. Drop the ink flat, grab two future willers, put bramble dolos onto the reroll, or maybe it's the the burnital gauntlets. Duplicate these. We're now at ambusher four. Really doesn't do anything for us. Nah. Like, I suppose Expert Binder, if we duplicated an Acknowledgement of Exemption, then we get an additional Ambusher as well. Starts leaning towards Future Willer? No. Sovereign's Flag? Don't really think so. Shadow Book, maybe. Or we could just make three Burnable Gauntlets. That's unironically doesn't seem bad. Three burnical drop the bramble dolos. Because if we do the shadow book shenanigans, we don't have anything to counteract the damage that we're going to take. And it's 50 damage for, like, one turn. And again, that's additive, so that's only going to increase our damage by, like, not even 50%. It would be, like, 25%. Oh. <sighs> um... Yeah, screw it. Let, let's get a little Bernie up in here. I didn't mean to click that, but thank you. Ah, oh, jeez. We have some extra rerolls. Let's go ahead and do that. More crit chance and more physical. God damn it. <laughs> we can reroll one more time. Why do you have such garbage... Greens, my dude. So I'm willing to take that over other options. So we're dropping Bramble Dolos. Duplicating this. And now we've got a damage multiplier. And we're about to have Giannis give Giannis like a terrible day.
Can I get you down there too? Yes. Okay. And we kind of want to be down here-ish. Give me this orb now. I'm going to hit all you guys with a ton of burn, so this is going to finish all of you guys. We're going to take this just to get some more damage out of here. And then we're going to have to ha hope that Jinx does it. Hope that Jinx does it. It currently does not do it, because you are not the furthest person from us. Panic. Oh, we're going to take that damage. I think that's an extra turn. No, that's perfect. Okay. Thank you, game. Mmm. I think we actually could use a little bit of vacuum seal action here. It'd be great if we could reduce the cost of cleave. Now, this is magic impact damage, but I'm pretty sure this is the initial hit. Still kind of liking it. Because invigorating eruption has to hit like what? Granted, it only has to hit three people to double our damage. But after we use Invigorating Eruption, what, what else are we doing? Like, we don't have the will to do anything with this. And that's kind of why it's a little bit of an odd augment. Like, in general. That or we could double... We could double the stacks. Huh. I think we're actually going to take the witch. They gave us a verdant seed. That's kind of nice. Hello, and now here's something that I want to know. Is this going to re-roll us at all? You catching with me? Our first slot is currently empty. A rare og, man. No. 
slamp eggs with phasing crows. Oh, there's a slim egg down there, too. I couldn't even see it. Yeah, so I don't know how we actually clear this. I suppose I should have checked to see if there was another slim bag down there. It was kind of odd that there was only one. Ah, jeez. Alright. We're taking damage regardless. We can't really take you out. Unless, of course, we re-roll this in this crits. Then we could probably take you out. But... I don't know. Bewitch? Bewitch isn't going to do anything, though, is the issue. It's just too much of you little guys. this saves the most damage. Come on, I just had this. Don't be like this. There we go. You're not dying, though, which is kind of a problem. We need to get down to this slim egg because it's a problem. I have no damage and I must scream. You're actually dying due to burn. That helps a lot. Even if we impact you, you don't take damage. This is truly the worst. Okay. Lost two turns due to not seeing a slim bag. And 10 health. Holy lord, that just dumped our score. Cool down, thank you. Predator's Quintessence. That just stacks more Omni damage. It's kind of a no. <laughs> I want to protect this All Wills Bard. I want to duplicate this All Wills Bard. gonna help us get our um, our will back we might actually be able to finish precision depending on what we end up getting and um, I don't know hopefully gives us two will a turn money really doesn't do much for us I suppose we could buy something at the shop and then duplicate it that's about it
Okay, I see the slump eggs this time. Don't worry, guys. If only I had the wider AoE. Wait, there's not even a wider AoE. We have no way to really shield ourselves, so we're just going to be taking damage here. The question is, though, is can we make taking that damage worth it? Be kind of nice. There we go. It's kind of nice. Give you some of that. Taking quite a bit of damage. If I use you, we won't be able to use you again. I think this is a punch punch. Punch punch? Just a cannon is fine. We don't have to hit you first. Might as well. <clears throat> oh my god. Real voice reveal? Your toast. Your toast. Save that for next turn. God, our score is just plummeting. I think we may honestly need uh, this Verdant Sprout. Help mitigate some of the damage we're taking. Also gives us Verdant uh, 2, which is nice. What do we got here? Increased poison damage? Nope. Attack twice. Absolutely. That's more will. Take me to a binding empowerment. What do we need even more money for? What do we need blue augs for? It's a better question. At least we got a barrier potion this time. We're fine. I would really like to hit you, but we kind of have to deal with these guys. At least this crits. Gives us two will. And maybe... There we go.
On turn start, gain a singular martial master. Nah. I think the faulty flask is probably the most useful thing here. I do respect the uh, the lion's share. Because that's a good source of shattered will. But that's about to, like... The lion's share simply versus... Who am I trying to say here? But the, the squiggly guy. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Mimic versus Mimic because you have all the slimp eggs and all that. This is a great way to gain lots of will to push them on turn two. So I'm actually quite happy about that. In fact, we already have one. You would think that that would mean uh, bits. Doesn't that mean you're not going to pick it up? Wrong. We're totally going to pick this up. I don't have anything I want to duplicate. Random stat boost. Holy shit. <laughs> 45 critical damage is kind of huge for us. Um, I think we got to take the max HP though. Just in case we take damage on Argloth. We currently, we still have no defense. We didn't pick up that Vigorous. But 45 crit damage. Oh, baby. I'm not going to disrespect Mimic for the third time in a row. We're going to take that fish. And what I really need... Feels a little late for Brandon the Frost Shade, but is that true? Big question is, what do I get rid of for it? I'm kind of trying to find a, uh, a precision that I'd be willing to buy afterwards. Maybe we just stop fooling around with that and then wait till later. Yeah, that's probably a good move. kind of nice. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's very nice. I appreciate it. Probably should have kept them alive, though, to be perfectly honest. Problem is, that's really quite garbage.
you frickin' piece. Reduce the cooldown by four. It's kind of our best hit. Now it's critting. Okay. That's moderately good. Give me another will. All right. Three infusion per ally. What the heck does that even mean? Like, I know what infusion means. Is that my ally or their allies? I can kind of get behind Hemo. Negative one will cost on Jinx. It's exactly what we've wanted. Crushing Fist, though, is kind of hilarious. <clears throat> that would deal a lot of freaking damage. But no, I think reducing that cost is kind of important to us. What did you get turned to? Scrying table. Wait. What? <laughs> um... That's funny. It's a little funny. Anyways, um, again, too late for Brandon the Frost Shade. Yeah, nothing here is really doing it for me. Maybe it's best that we just, like, go to the next zone and then get something there. I just don't know what we're grinding is the issue. But uh, definitely scrying tables getting re-rolled, that's for sure. Ain't having none of that nonsense. Oh god, I wonder if this breaks the game. Well, it's not being tracked. Okay. It's actually pretty good.
I think it broke the game. That actually severely hurt our turn. Does Grind Table ruin our passive cleanup? Oh man, that's that's honestly kind of a big deal. Oh, all right. Next one will cost on cleave. That's huge. I'm about it. Needles. Man. I does this actually break our twin lash? Like, honest, all of these honestly seem pretty terrible. Um, one stack of blur every turn is kind of huge in this fight. I'm kind of about that. Maybe we grind Verdant Sprout. Put on Faulty Flask. Bottled Whirlwind. Those two together might just be enough to uh, save us here. Um, grind this Moss by Glass. Shuriken pouch? <laughs> I don't know how to use these tools. <laughs> Miser's purse. Wow. Too bad that's actually, like, not notable. <laughs> I guess 50% more damage is 50% more damage, but Dunn's head is just crazy. Okay. Let's head back here. Bottled Whirlwind. Reroll. 
Okay, Baylor's Tongue gives us Precision 6. It gives us Reaver 3 and a whole metric ton of will. Is that actually better than Carnival Candy that gives us 3 will the first turn, 2 will the second, so on and so forth? Like... It's a hard question. It's not even a question of Volkus's Bond Enhancer here. Like I was talking earlier about how we need plus one will. Um, that's not the same as Baylor's Tongue or Carnival Candy in the slightest right now. I think it might have to be Baylor's Tongue. Our main issue here is that we actually don't have a lot of damage. So what this does is this means that we're not going to overkill any tentacles. Which means that we're going to probably have to kill all the tentacles. Which is kind of a problem. Um, it probably was supposed to be Sugar Rush there or Carnival Candy. Also, potentially, well, if we buy Miser's Purse, then we don't have Miser's Purse, so that's definitely not it. If we re-roll, we could only maybe buy a Dun's Head. Odds of that happening are pretty slim. I think we may have scuffed ourselves. I think that was supposed to be Carnival Candy. I was just hoping that we'd be able to, like, one crit something. There it goes again. Uh, okay. I was hoping to get another cleave in there for a little bit more damage, but I guess not. Yeah, we definitely have too little damage here. We're going to end up taking a lot of turns. Nope. 
no crits. There we go. Kind of screwed that one up. We had a phase. How did we have a phase earlier? I honestly don't know how that whole turn played out. That definitely phased. I don't know, it's a little weird. It didn't crit. Okay. Okay, we should at least be fine here. It's not showing the HUD for these tentacles. They should have DR though. Oh, we used the wrong frickin' skill. Because of course we did. Gosh dang it. Okay. That's obviously not good. One mistake like what three turns ago we didn't phase him when we could because we were greedy for damage and uh oh because we have vigor holy snap we actually made 50 it was three extra turns though absolutely horrendous Forty-five thousand. definitely could have been better they gave us a neat little pressurization tank at the end there 
yeah, I don't know how to feel about any of that. I feel like we definitely played a little poorly. But the whole... I don't know how to feel about Vested Shuffle, especially when it can give you something that is literally useless to you. Like, I guess we could have ground those for sets, but that's about it. Like, we got an extra reaver out of it. Something tells me, though, that, uh, yeah, the correct move was probably... I don't know. Like, we had a good setup going there. Like, when Cleave was critting... Or when Jinx was critting, we were basically able to play them for free every two will. And that's quite a bit of damage buildup. And that was only available due to um, Precision 6. How much crit chance would we have actually had there? Precision, I believe, is 20. Plus we had plus 8 from the... What am I trying to say? Uh, plus 8 from the, the Sea Breach event. So then we had 16, 36, plus Dunn's Head. All that was still only a 42% chance to refresh our cooldowns. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like I said, I think besides uh, Carnival Candy, I think we played our Vestige as well. I think that that all really worked out. Like, it's possible that perhaps something was better than Lion Share. But Lion Share also, like, helped give us a little bit of will. I don't know. Anyways, hopefully the run was entertaining, or at least educational. If you guys have any feedback whatsoever, be it questions, comments, concerns, misplay alerts, be sure to put those down in the comments below. And until next time, I will catch you guys around.